What's, What's up, Fight fans? fans? Greetings from the Wrestleverse. It's your host, Billy here. And Nate here. And it's time to, to take, take it, it to the, the ring. ring. All right, so in this episode of WrestleCap, we're going to be reviewing NXT 2.0. So the night starts off with Vag, uh, Von Wagner. Yeah, bro. Oh, my gosh. That this dude. is a cage match. I know. all A cage match is every day almost, it seems I like. I see. Yeah, they just had war games. Maybe it was still left over. Like, yeah, I will keep it. So, <laughs> like, before the match even starts, you know, Von Wagner gets attacked dude. from behind by O'Reilly. Well, I, I like, really don't blame him. I wouldn't either, bro. I'd be pissed off. Wagner's yeah. a, such a big, stronger opponent. So yeah. O'Reilly has to take an opportunity to get this like right off the bat so yeah yeah wagner comes out and just gets like this arm lock you know well oh God. and then wagner just like throws him <laughs> and the crowd's just like boo it yeah bro. it's like what the heck was up with that well i they think they were hating on wagner man i don't know maybe it's because o'reilly is like you know the champ's favorite or the crowd's favorite i, don't I think know. he's definitely a crowd's favorite but you know o'reilly man he has to warm up before he gets anything in he comes in with like this big running knee and then just like uh wagner ends up grinding Bro, his face on the boot. Yeah, man, just it was pretty neat. Oh my god! And then Wagner is just like working fingers too, and it was just a brutal matchup. Yeah. You know, friendship going down the toilet, right? That's what's point. really sad, man. They seem like they right when they were getting on the same right? page, it's just they go different ways. They had a beer with each other for God's yeah, sake. Yeah, for real. Wagner ends up getting this really nice, uh, like waist lock, yep. hit toss. And, and going like right into that real nasty just press Man. and Wagner's being mean and Using nasty. that cage for his advantage, bro. Mm -hmm. Well, O'Reilly counters Wagner with an ankle lock and then comes back with some like nice knee strike. Oh, in the midsection on Wagner. He's like, ooh. He's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, he felt it for sure, man. God. And then Wagner at this point is just all over a man. Yeah. I mean, he's really just kind of keeping O'Reilly in place, <laughs> rolling him all over the ring, just keeping him on the mat, really. And, you know, O'Reilly ends up landing this really oh, nice, yeah. like, dragon screw on Wagner, in the, and Wagner's on the ropes. <laughs> And then O'Reilly keeps on just like kicking Wagner and not letting up, man. He just like shuts O'Reilly down. Um, Wagner comes yeah, back and just shuts O'Reilly <laughs> down with this just massive clothesline, yeah. man. It was insane. It's just like over. It was like all these moves that O'Reilly was doing. All I had, Wagner had to do was come up and counter with one clothesline to stop him. Yeah, that was, yeah. That's how he's, he's huge, he's huge man. Bro. You know, you know, O'Reilly works Wagner with some counters and then throws him into the cage. Forearm striking his ass up, mm -hmm. and O'Reilly climbs the top rope when he starts just kicking Wagner in the head, bro. Yeah. Like, get down, I'm gonna chop you down. It's King Kong trying to fall to the ground. And he <laughs> <laughs> well, we were spitting bars, right? man. We got uh, Nate the Rapper over here. And Watch so, out, claim. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, look out. <laughs> Way better. Watch out. So you have uh, O'Reilly comes back with like this big running key, and then Larry at elbow comes Ooh. down. O'Reilly's moving into like this nice guillotine mm -hmm. on the ropes and just kind of falls into it. Uh, not good you know? enough though, bro. Wagner's like gets on a guillotine hold, picks up O'Reilly and gives him a suplex, bro. <laughs> City on him. Yeah, it just lifts him Ooh. out of this guillotine. Oh my God, O'Reilly's like, I gotta do something. Jumps off the top rope. And he's like, I'm gonna get a power knee strike to the Boom. Yeah, for real. It was, it was pretty cool. A little bit of a back and forth. So then, uh. Wagner, man, just the <sighs> lowest of the lowest, just the cheapest of Why, the cheap. Bro? He comes up with like the shot right into O'Reilly's beanbag, you know, the web of. Ooh. He's feeling it. The Kiwis got hurt. I Wagner know. lands this great like butterfly suplex and gets a three count. And the NXT universe is oh. just booing him. Yeah, and Wagner, he hangs O'Reilly over the cage. Yes, dude. I'm like, over the ropes, hanging him out to dry. And just like, I really don't get why. <laughs> it's not enough for Wagner. He, like, he comes in and just has to finish off yeah. Wagner. Slams the cage door on him multiple times. At least three times, I believe. It's well, like, you know. it's crazy, man. It's like, uh, why? Got close to the front door. So, okay, yeah, so we got good news not. happening. Not good news. Johnny Gargano is about to announce that he will be saying yeah, something this Tuesday. So something. Something, something up his sleeve. And then yeah. we got, oh my gosh. We Which got, is tonight. I mean, he does say that, but he says Tuesday. I don't know why he says Tuesday. He means tonight. And know? we got the creepy guy, Grace, coming out with his creepy friend, tall guy, talking about how they can change the world. And everybody should watch out for them because these guys might be coming for the tag team title. Nah, I think that's what they're setting up for. Yeah. They're going to be a tag team. They're definitely going to be a tag yes. team. So they got rid of all the weight classes and stuff. We'll see what happens, man. Yeah, you, got, eh, you know. So next up, we see Braun Breaker. He's coming out, and he has like a Band-Aid on his eye after War Games. Like he got split open. Woo! 
but he still comes out. You know, he's, he's the crowd's feeling him. He's feeling good. <laughs> you know, and he gives honor to Team Gold. You know, yeah, it's like even cool. though they lost, it was like he, he's still humble. He's a, he's an ass talker, but he still gives homage. You know, he still gives respect. Anyways, but, yeah. You know, but Braun's like, all right, man. He comes out, Braun Breaker, and he's like, I'm gonna ch challenge Tommaso Ciampa. He gets to the point. The Diamond Mine comes out like a bunch of douchebags, and yeah. freaking Malcolm comes out. He's like, Braun Breaker. You can't be coming out here and causing all this. And then Breaker's like, I'm gonna throw your ass in the third row. Like, oh man, the Creed brothers are gonna take me and protect me, man. Protect that's, me. That's a fantastic impression, man. I'm sorry. That's a you almost sound just like Malcolm, but so I mean Malcolm ends up getting to the point before Breaker loses oh, it, man, right? Man. And the challenge is Braun Breaker yeah. to fight Roderick Strong. So the the weight, like I said, the weight classes have been lifted in yeah, NXT now. That, bro. So a welterweight Ooh. is now challenging a heavyweight like Braun Breaker and the heaviest of the weights. Dun dun dun. We'll see, man. That's gonna be a good one. And so the it. next match we have the Cree Brothers. Yeah, hey, we've got They're, Brutus. Yeah, and Josh. So, yeah, this this is a good match, man. I love watching the Cree Brothers. They're so good. So yeah, Brutus and Josh, they're coming out first, and Imperium music comes on. Oh my god. You know, but they still keep fighting. Imperium's just up like on their big you yeah, know, stand and they're watching. Whatever, Imperium. Come me like all being all badass on this like platform. Yeah, like, what's kinda cool is like the crowd starts cool. chanting the Imperium music. Yeah, right. right? <laughs> so I mean it was uh, it was the grizzled young vex, so you had Briggs and Jensen coming out and Bridges is just, just mm, getting mm, work. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I mean, it was pretty, like he does well. I mean, he's a heavy hitter. Good he comes guy, in with like this big elbow. He eats it, and then Jensen gets tagged in. Oh my gosh! So, Brutus and them start trading shots at each other, <laughs> and Julius is like, you know what? I'm gonna eat it with a massive splash, bro. Boom! He does. He eats it, man. Mm, he, he really does. His butt. <laughs> and then, yeah, he comes right back, gets his butt whooped up on. Mm, yeah, then Brutus is like Brutus. a freak snap, suplex, boom on Briggs. <laughs> Bridge is like. All over the ring, he gets Julius Nails Bridge with like a German suplex right to the floor, outside of the ring. Mm -hmm. Now they're back in the ring, and then freaking Julius has him in this like stretch buckle. Bridge is like, yeah. help me, Lord. And then, <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's got his legs, he's like, bring him Bridges over. Bridge ain't gonna play around, bro. He's nah. like, cowboy boot to the face, bro. Yeah, you know, boom. cowboy. Sh Dude, yeah, it was some real cowboy stuff, man. Mm. Briggs was not playing around. No, Big boot won't. to the face, and then the grizzled young vets, yeah. they're like, yeah. back on top of the announcer's table, distracting everybody. <laughs> and then Briggs gets the cover on Brutus. So it looks like the grizzled young uh, vets wanted Diamond Mine to win. Exactly. But they didn't. No. It didn't work out for them. No. You know, then you have the Diamond Mine, it's like they, they want their heads now. Dude, they they want them, yeah. They're like, you, you, you lost a yeah. match for us. Yeah, what Briggs, you doing yeah. Here? Briggs and Jensen won. You know, yeah. it's they got the tie up, but we'll see what happens. Show sure. Mackenzie. Mackenzie Mitchell backstage. Sorry guys. Mackenzie Talking Mitchell. with Van Wagner. She's yep. like, why are you guys no friends anymore? He's like, I don't care, we ain't friends. That's it. End of story. <laughs> Next we see, uh, you know, so you have like, Duke's yeah, out there. He's got that weird little blonde afro going, you know, looking like that UFC fighter. And then, you know, Duke puts the headgear on to keep the wig from Bro. flying off, right? Which <laughs> is know? kind of hilarious. He's like, not to protect his ears from cauliflower. Mm -hmm. No, just keep the yep. wig on. And Briggs said, you know, Grimes is like, you know what? You think I cheated, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Let's get a no holds bar, yeah. no rules, face off, yeah. and let's do this. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's right. they're gonna do it. So, I mean, Duke accepted, he said, I'm gonna do it. So wig or no wig? I mean, like he tries to pull the wig he off. He runs out there. He's like, I'm gonna take a run for it, bro. <laughs> he tries to. He can't get the wig off. You know, the straps on. It was, it was pretty funny. Backstage, we see yeah, yeah. Jacket Crew talking with Bridge and Jensen. Right? They're like yeah. talking about it. You know, Jacket Club smacks with Jensen in the butt, and then Grizzly Young Vets come out. He didn't even seem to mind. No, like, it's like you look a little upset. But then <laughs> like Grizzly Young Vets come out and talk about Silly Con. They're trying to run. And then that was it, pretty much. And yeah, they start fighting, and the refs come out. Yeah. They try to break it up. It's just some silly backstage stuff. Some chicken. Like thing. I said, I think there's a con that's going on between the Jacket Crew and the Grizzled <sighs> Young Vets, and I'm sure we'll find out a little bit later. But anyway. So the next fight card, we have Carmelo Hayes and yeah. Dexter Loomis. Loomis. They have a settle to score, or score <laughs> to settle. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, you know why, bro? Yeah. Hayes is like feeling the pain from the war games, but he's hurt and he has his ribs all wrapped up he's still. Through, he's kind of feeling it a little bit. You don't you like know? Loomis. You think well, he's creepy, no, right? I, think, I like him. You I do? think he's a okay. good fighter, but he's super creepy, he's man. Super creepy. Like, he's super creepy. He really is, man. He's just like dead face and yeah, pretty much. He looks like a sociopath. 
Now this match is uh, after Loomis chased Trick Williams out from underneath the ring during War Games. Oh yeah. So I guess like Hayes and they have, they have some you know they got some beef going on. Oh, yeah. So Hayes has to fight for Trick Williams. I don't know why Trick Williams isn't there with Loomis if they got beef. But anyway, the two start off. They get like this really nice lock up and then go right into some grappling, <laughs> trading counters, and it was pretty fun to watch. I oh, mean, I, you don't see Loomis that technical very often. All I want to watch is Loomis kick somebody. He finally wakes up, yeah. plows Hayes in the corner, <laughs> rips off that bandages on his ribs and yeah. starts going to town on him. Dude, he like grabs him by the bandages and is like yoking him up. Yeah, man, give me some Rib City going on. For real, it wasn't Rib City. <laughs> Uh, Loomis is like with his eye trick out there in the ring. Yeah, he's like, staring at Williams like, oh, what's up, man? I see you. His nostrils all flared up. <laughs> yeah, right. And then Hayes comes flying in with this crossbody from the middle row. But Loomis bounces right back up. Oh, yeah. He wasn't even faced, man. Mm -hmm. It didn't even touch him. Shit. And Hayes gets an arm lock yeah, on Loomis. Like stretches him Trying out. to stretch him, but he doesn't. He's bending those yeah. fingers back on that same hurt hand that oh, he just smashed jerk. a few weeks ago. He's just healing up and handing him back. But Loomis doesn't care. He comes back in with like this neat yeah. kind of frog splash. Yeah. He leaps up and comes in like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> just takes Hayes down, man. It's Lays him out. Dude, Loomis is always so creepy. Everybody thinks he's creepy. He does like, his hand walk thing. I think it's really cool. <laughs> but you know what? It like Hayes like saves the day with a running knee to his face because I don't know. You're, well, he was going right after out, Williams. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna like, knee you in the face, bro. <laughs> so Loomis is going this way and then catches a knee this way. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. And then we ended up having a great uh headlock from Hayes oh and just God. like he won't let go yes. of Loomis's head, man. The ref ended up having to pull him off because he had <sighs> just the neck and he was Choking him out, bro. Yeah, and then some mowing chops and Oof. all kinds of crazy stuff, man. It was a pretty long match. It was a good matchup. Yeah. Loomis counters a suplex after all this happens down. And then another Boom. suplex. Another one, bro. It was, it was super cool, man. The guy's a beast. Then like, he's what? He's crazy strong. He, he's, oh my God, he's crazy. And then three clotheslines to Hayes. Oh. And then another suplex. Oh my gosh, Loomis. Loomis is just like hot now, man. He's <laughs> warming up and he's just like. Feeling he, so. Yeah, he can't keep Hayes down, man. He still keeps getting out on two Jesus. counts. Loomis has to finally get locked it up with a silencer, but mm -hmm. Trick Williams breaks out, bro. Yeah, he breaks it up and like and the ref calls it and yeah, it's Q, a DQ. Q, DQ. Like, so like, Williams comes in, breaks up the, yeah, the counter. Yeah, in and Loomis should have won strictly on winning the match, not mm -hmm. a DQ. Yeah, exactly. You know, but, but a win's a win. Uh, yeah. You got toxic attraction. Oh my God. It's, it's it, it is spewing toxic, toxic you know, all over the floor. All this woman. Dude, they all have a belt, man. Oh yeah, they're, they're all, all looking badass. good. They're talking about taking care of business, and mm. they throw some shade over at Jade, you know, and say, eh, you know, they're they're the hot ladies of NXT. Yeah, yeah I mean that's what they do. Pretty much, just, yeah. They're the it's best. True. They're the hottest. Yeah. And Manny Rose is the leader. Self-proclaimed the baddest bitches. So then you got some more backstage. You have Priyada and Hartwell. Oh and they're tired God. talking back and forth. Priyada tells Hartwell, it's like, yeah, like, you need to get your head in the game. Where you been at? You're worried about I love Loomis. Loomis. I love and my man. you're worried about getting married and kissing your ring all the time. Meanwhile, Priyada is just like picking up all the slack. And if she's not winning, she's getting her butt whooped. It's like, come on, man. It's your partner. Come in. But then, you know, Loomis shows up and Hartwell's like, no, no, we're, we're still a team. And Loomis shows up and- They disappear. Yeah. You're a third wheel Could now, care bro. less, yeah. Third the wheel. Rider's just like still standing there. Like, what happened? I thought we were friends. Faraz yeah. and Leon, yep. my yep. bad, with the no, first gonna... this crappy yellow mate. It was, it was, it was, it was like the lamest music. music. It, was, it was just, she does like this little- I can't even do my hips. Sorry, people who are watching at home. Yeah, she's got some moves. You got Thank a you Rose right with on. Toxic Attraction coming out. Yeah. So it's Gigi and Jade. Oh, man. And they're going to be fighting tonight. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you have Jade and uh, Faraz. Faraz. They face off first. You know, they get some slaps going, you know, and some chops. And it starts off kind of slow. Uh, uh, you know. uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> now, Leon, she is like getting great roll ups right now. She yeah, wants to man. show everybody the NXX universe or whatever. It goes show them right in like this wrist lock and Jake counters and does like this side headlock on her. It's, it's pretty cool. Girl, do not be trying to get oh, on man. NXT like this. Oh, I'm going to get you. <laughs> and then Gigi kicks Leon from behind. That's and Jake what you takes, get. Like it gets a great clothesline <laughs> because of it. You know, it's just like laser mm -hmm. out. Now Jay's like back and gets rear headlock and choking out her. Mm. 
Frazio, you are going down. <laughs> Frazio's just like getting uh. greened, man. But Frazio, she comes back with like this great fireman takedown, like spins around and Jade ah. goes down hard, man. It was a great takedown. So Jade's like, no girl. And then Gigi comes in with a cross body. I was like, yo, man, with the DDT after that, thrust kick and after, boom. Wow. And then, yeah, right to Frazio. And then they get a three count, man. I it would be done too with that. Funk. <laughs> DDT and a thrust kick to the face, yeah. yeah. That'll count anyone out. Mm. And you can't really beat Toxic Attraction. I mean, these girls, are just so bad too sexy wow. <laughs> so that i mean of course you know rose she comes out she's relishing in her team's victory ah. says uh the baddest bitches in town mm. you know the core jade she comes out oh, yeah. and she starts talking some smack and rose says uh sorry honey mm -hmm. uh no way you're coming in here you can keep your skinny ass out there mm -hmm. if you want to get whooped you can bring it in here yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh rachel right gonzalez yeah, comes yeah, she in comes out. Like, uh -huh, i'm gonna chase the toxic away girl she comes in with like this big chair mm. she starts chasing the girls that anti-toxic and... chair <laughs> that's a great name <laughs> anti-toxic the toxic just like cure. spray painted on the chair then uh backstage we see uh what Chase and uh, Tony D'Angelo. They're kind of doing D'Angelo. a little bit of a back and forth. They're talking some smack. I got a feeling we're going to see them coming up probably in the next episode or the episode after. He took them my mother. Uh, hey. It's like, hey, I got some stuff to do, no, but uh, no. next week, yeah. you know, you and me, we'll see what I mean, happens. Forget eh? about it. I gave that fish the Loomis and says he's going to sleep with the fishes. Eh? Sleeping with the fishes. Hey. Chase, you know, with his corny, you know, he's so corny. He's like, I see, who talks like that? Who talks like I this? see this as a teachable moment. And it's like, shut <laughs> Get out of here. Wow. Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Xavier Quinn yeah. versus Santos Escobar. Escobar. <laughs> Matchup going on. Yeah. Quinn looks really mean at the moment. He, yeah. He's like fired up. He's on NXT, bro. You know? Yeah, he's ready to fight, man. And, <laughs> but, I mean, they get a hard lock up. You oh, know? man. Escobar is not a guy I would like to lock up with. Nah. You know, yeah, Escobar gets the first uh, takedown. Hell though, yeah. Man. But Quinn bounces straight up right to his feet. True, it and is. And he gets a takedown of his own. Ah, back and forth takedowns, and Lopez is watching her. Man, <gasps> I just smell my man is out oh. there whooping butt, looking so, so good. Sad face. But it's so funny. Like, she keeps turning and like, I know. looking at Quinn. She looks a little turned on, you know, but it's like Escobar's her man. It's like, I don't know really what's I going know on. That, I think oh, Lopez is in love with Quinn, really. I don't know. Or just in love with violence. But I mean, Quinn ends up getting distracted by the family outside of the ring. Yeah, well. And then Escobar takes full advantage of this and it gets like this big running knee, knee right in the back. chin of Quinn and he goes down and out of the ring, man. It was a hard hit. Well, then Escobar's like, I'm going to come back with an arm lock. What's up with all these submission moves, bro? I mean, that's what he did. Yeah, that's what he, he was working it, man. He's really working Quinn's arm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And Quinn, uh, he just, you know, he gets <laughs> beat and thrown. Yeah. He gets thrown match, around bro. the entire match. Escobar man. is like, I ain't going to take this no more, bro. I'm going to get the hot sauce out. I'm going to keep kicking you out. Yeah, he keeps kicking, man. He's like, he does not <laughs> stop. Every time Quinn gets a cover, like, he oh, kicks man. out, man. The guy's got a ton of energy. I don't know what's up with Lopez, but this entire time she was just eyeballing him like, the, like dude, what is going on? Escobar like <laughs> keeps up. looking at her in the decent fireman carry, but no, it wasn't good enough. And Quinn rolls out the side and yeah. you know, his own fireman spinning extra like salsa grande on that stuff. Extra grande, uh, man. It was a great like spin around. Eye and, move. Yeah, anyway, so <laughs> we have a huge hurricane runner from the top post Boom. to Quinn. And Escobar, I mean, he just like, it was it amazing, man. But Quinn still kicks out. Yeah. It was crazy. Now, Lopez gives Quinn a set of oh, brass knuckles man. after this Hurricane Rana. And, you know, he goes to go, like, take yeah, Escobar yeah. down. But then he's just like, I'm kind of confused. You know, Escobar's yeah, her man. And it's like, dude, you, you need to quit trifling, man. That's not cool. She likes men fighting over her. I, yeah, I think Maybe. you're right. I think I that's know. what it is. She likes the drama. But, I mean, Quinn tosses them at one of the family and then follows up with this big elbow. Like, Boom. takes the brass knuckles, tosses them over, big elbow. Yeah, and boy. good for him, man, you know. It's like, yeah. he doesn't need it to win. Don't need but no Escobar drama. comes back with, like, this big pile driver. Yeah. And gets, he locks it in from behind and gets a three count. He should have used the brass knuckles, my man. He was trying to win it honorably. You know, um, Escobar gets the win, but I feel like, you know, he needs to have a talk with his lady. Yeah, she you wanted know, him to lose. Was, yeah, I mean, I'd be pissed if my wife yeah. gave the dude I was fighting a set of brass knuckles to knock me out with man that that's some messed up no, stuff girl is. hey quinn look out that's a crazy girl she's crazy look out, man. she's trying to help you she ain't, <laughs> ain't. She. anyways yeah we so. got Jan johnny gargano coming mm -hmm. out of the ring he's like saying something like he's about to be his last night in yeah. nxt he's got yeah 
Oh, I mean, he's just like worn out. He but, is worn I mean, out, bro. He's great. It's Fans. sad to see him go. We love him, bro. We love you, bro. Oh. You know, but I mean, he says thanks for the fans and, yes. everything. and he's done everything he's done over the years, the abuse of his body and it, it was all everything. for the fans. It was his dream. Yeah. He loves the wrestle and man, I loved it. It was it was a really good just kind of face to face nice to talking to the crowd and it was very humbling. It was good to see just an athlete come out there and just kind of be there for the fans. Like be a really real person. Really appreciate it. Yeah, really. Real, just real. humble and there for the fans and there for the show. But yeah, I got Waller, man. This guy, I like him. He's a good fighter. Waller, he was really picking it up. Yeah, Waller, it was Waller. Waller yeah, um, Waller comes out. Shame man. on you, Waller, bro. And I like it. He's really picked up the pace. Mm. He's really coming into his own in NXT. But he comes up and attacks Johnny. Yeah, like, bro. Especially in a really dramatic, like, It was, I don't touching, even understand. Yeah, it was. Know, it was oh very God. touching. It was very cool. It's his last night. And then and on top of that, he beats him up and then power slams him into the announcer's table. And, and just disintegrates, man. It flattens <laughs> out. And then he starts talking all all this smack to the camera. And yeah, I'm better than everybody. Man, Forget y'all. Anyways, all right, yeah. here at Take of the Ring, Billy, we like to give each fight card a fight card rating. That's right. That's right. We got five to fight forever. Yep, we got four. Four, this is awesome. It's three, you, you still, still got, got it. it. Two is butt. Yep. And one is my favorite all the time to say. <laughs> one is boring. <laughs> Don't even watch the show, watch our recap, because we are way more entertaining than anybody else out there. Yeah. Now, what would you give this episode? Our three for this is awesome. <laughs> I was gonna say, two is a two is a one, man. No, I would give it a three also. also. Yeah. I mean, this was an awesome episode. Um, not the best NXT, but it was still no. cool. Yeah. It was neat seeing Johnny go out. Um, Toxic Attraction was a cool match. Yeah, they're really And, you know, Braun Breaker right off the bat. I mean, that was, that was great to kind of see him come out. Let's see what's going on with him. Hopefully, we get to see Tony and Chase. I'd love I to see Tony know. whoop Chase. Let's go. Let's get it. Yeah. Meatballs, you know. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. You're amazing. Yes, we love you guys. You're yeah. amazing. If you like what you see here, please take a moment to like. Share. Subscribe. And comment, please. Yeah. And for more WrestleCat videos like this, just click that link right there. Yes, below. the link below. Our more yeah. cap videos so it's down there too as well yeah also make sure you check out our merch yes we have merch on our links below we got them on all our social media platforms we got you know facebook twitter instagram and we have our, our website as well too yeah and once we hit 5,000 subscribers we're gonna be giving out pay-per-view yeah uh, wwe or aew fights you guys want to see yeah once we hit 5,000 we'll take care of you until next time yep. billy here nate here don't stop believing